In 1350, what we know as the idyllic French countryside was a living hell. For more than 15 years, the people had suffered at the hands of English invaders. Little did they know that this war would last for another hundred years. But through this crucible of fighting, famine and plague, there would emerge the modern nation of France. England's king, Edward III, looked jealously across the English Channel. Wanting France for his own, he had added the fleur de lis, the symbol of France, to his own royal standard. This was an all-out declaration of war. And in 1337, he invaded. But France already had a king, Philippe VI. As the English burned their way across the land, Philippe's army and his legendary knights marched to meet them and came face to face with the English longbow. A simple weapon, but the most devastating the knights had ever faced. The heroes of France fell to storms of English arrows. The war engulfed the French countryside. By 1351, the conflict was focused on Brittany. One fight stands out as a spectacular display of chivalry and a symbol of the wider conflict between the two enemy nations. The combat of the Thirty is still commemorated here in Brittany. It was a dispute between two local families. Supported by the opposing sides in the war, the French and English commanders decided to settle it through a trial of knightly combat. Each side would choose 30 champions to fight on neutral ground. France prepared to defend itself against England's finest. Intent on ending the suffering of the French peasantry, Sir Jean de Beaumanoir sent a challenge to the English commander. 30 champions on each side would compete in a tournament for final claim to Brittany. With the battleground of the halfway oak agreed upon, Sir Jean set out to gather support from local knights. As a knight himself, Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. Most medieval tournaments were friendly in nature, held for sport and glory, but the combat of the Thirty was arranged between opponents mired in war. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany and brought great hardship to the people. Sir Jean spotted an English raiding party attacking a nearby farmstead. Come, was Vondre! Incontinent! 
Quand je commande, avance. Et continent. The French knights defeated the English raiders, and Sir Guy de Rochefort joined Sir Jean's party. Looking to secure his honor, a young knight held his ground on a bridge in Sir Jean's path. Honorably conceding defeat in the duel, Sir Yves Charel joined the cause. Sir Jean's search next brought him to Sir Geoffroy Dubois, whose squires were contending with a detachment of English longbowmen. The knights would use the great speed of their war horses to charge the archers and overwhelm them. The English longbowmen fell, but the French knights knew the enemy would attempt to retake the hilltop fortification and steeled themselves for further attacks. With Sir Geoffroy by his side, Sir Jean had secured the outpost. Sir Jean entered the staging area for the tournament, where he prepared to choose which knights would join him in battle. Each knight would be accompanied by his squires, young nobles in training to become knights themselves. Oh. 
Sir Jean had selected his champions. As the sun rose, the two sides entered the arena, ready for the first round of combat. Claiming an easy victory in the first round, the French champions left the arena to recover their strength. Refreshed and reinvigorated, the French knights returned to the arena for another round of combat. The combat of the 30 was about to decide which nation would control the Duchy of Brittany. Triumphant, Saint Jean de Beaumanoir and his loyal knights claimed victory. The combat of the Thirty had decided control of Brittany in favor of the French. Little did the two sides know, this was just the beginning of a bitter war that would outlive them all. After victory at the combat of the Thirty, the French faced devastating raids from England's Black Prince. But France's King John II was closing in. Jean finally caught the English near the city of Poitiers in September 1356. The French army outnumbered the English by thousands. King Jean himself joined the fight, but what seemed a certain victory for France soon turned into a nightmare. The English longbow devastated the mighty French army. An endless hail of arrows gutted the main French force. Then the English captured King Jean. The fight was over. The Battle of Poitiers was another catastrophic defeat for the French. The English had destroyed most of France's nobility in a single day. 
now they turned their attention towards taking the French capital, Paris. The invaders marched unopposed towards Paris. The remains of some of the medieval walls of Paris still stand today. As the English army approached, the terrified locals sought shelter behind these defences. Could France's capital withstand the full might of the Black Prince's army? The English Black Prince had raided the French countryside without mercy. And now his army had come for the capital. With the English on their doorstep, it fell to the French army and the people of Paris to defend the walls of their proud city. Hoping to avoid open battle, the French began fortifying the city, manning the walls and calling every available soldier to his post. As the French hastened their preparations, several detachments of English soldiers were spotted closing in on the city. The English showed no mercy, burning their way to Paris via three routes, each of which was home to villages and farms that supplied the capital. Oh, 
peut pas aussi comme Volex. Lors Batige s'estuit. Veillez-moi, va servir. À votre commandement. Lance Batige, c'est celui. Victez moi une Versailles. As the French continued to rally their army, the English took the last of the surrounding villages and had almost encircled Paris. Sonnez l'île. Jibouez de Cester. Compagnie sur Paris. Lance Batige. Long temps va-t-il demeurer? Ici Nobels commandement. Bien, bien, bien. Laissons, laissons commandement. Ici Nobels commandement. Bonne besoin. Oh, With the countryside in flames and the English at the city gates, the French army steeled themselves for battle. Now came the capital's true test. Would the mighty walls of Paris hold against a fearsome English siege? The Parisian guard raised the alarm as the English began their first assault on the city walls. the first English attack. Bonne besoigne, et je fais. En bonne en bonne estière. Les avions moins, compagnon. Compagnon, reviens, les avions moins. Sigrid Sway. Besoigne à faire. Il traite ici nos mains, compagnon. Oh, 
Compagnon avance à mon commandement. Baillet, je suis envoyé. Ce n'est plus à vos affiches. À Chester Swartz. Régnez avions moins, compagnon. Laissons place commandement. Régnez avions moins, compagnon. Hold for Versailles. Pex, si obéis à vos commandements. Compagnon, on a petit besoin. Avant, à mon commandement. La 7 Smoyx. Hey, Sigret Smoyx, pour le compagnon. Besoin à faire. Assets moi exploité. Voyez oh, bien, comme pétain, comme, comme peignon. Là, je suis votre serveur. Là, ici, laisse comme un de ma pertisette, votre courage, compagnon. Besoin of twist. Voyez Prost, compagnon. Compagnon, sur quoi me faut-il qu'on passe en dresse Un chest response, dans un lance Assaillant, dans un lance Dans un lance Mon boss Rosalind French defense of their capital held firm, wearing down the English invaders one by one. Access Mets Boss, avant, compagnon. Attends pour votre service. L'heure est continent. Je suis votre. Que faut-il donc? Oh yeah. Allons, ça te reste tous. Jova. Voyez ce bras, votre ennemi. En jans et way.
Avertissez votre courage, compagnon. Or, attendons ni engins de ciel jasmine, si il sera fait. L'œuvre treillette se pose. Voyez de suite votre cerveau. Soigne à Suisse en vrai. Le monde, je commande, avance. Je suis votre serveur. as its mighty landmarks did not fall. desperate, as their ranks thinned and their hopes of victory faded. Les 
ruthless English army began burning the great Parisian landmarks. The French were running out of time to expel the enemy from their city. Defeated and demoralized by the strength of the French defense, the Black Prince's army abandoned their siege of the capital. Paris celebrated victory, but this was not the last test the French would face in their struggle to win the war. The walls of Paris held out against the English onslaught. England's King Edward and the Black Prince abandoned the siege. They marched towards Chartres to try their luck at conquering a less formidable target. But before they could attack, a violent storm hit the army. Killing a thousand English soldiers in a tempest of hail and freezing winds. To Edward, this Black Monday disaster seemed like divine retribution. A sign that it was time to stop waging war and make peace with France's King Jean. But even as peace between kings was reached, the people of France were still living in bloodshed and turmoil. Between 1358 and 1370, France was in chaos. Peasant uprisings, rampaging bands of mercenaries, and civil war ravaged the country. Peasants rose in rebellion, killing their lords and wreaking havoc. Mercenary bands also roamed the land. Known as Routier, they had once been hired by the English to fight against the French, but were cut loose when peace was reached. They systematically ravaged and pillaged towns across France. And with King Jean prisoner in England, his son Charles the Dauphin faced homegrown attacks on his rule by powerful French lords beset from all sides. 
the Dauphin's forces had to regain control over their own country. Having only recently been crowned King of France, Charles V dispatched his army to the French-held village of Evreux to forge order from chaos. From here, the army would move to extinguish three major threats. Bands of roving mercenaries harrying the countryside, a peasant uprising, and attacks from a rival for the French crown, Charles of Navarre. The French army would start by reclaiming the rebel-held villages of Cocherel, Jouy, and Coissy. As the French army struggled to regain control of the countryside, they were struck by a band of English routiers. These mercenaries had been cut loose by the English army and were plundering the countryside in order to make a living. French forces eliminated the routier attack, but more were still raiding the countryside in search of provisions and riches. The routier demanded payment from the French, or they would continue their horrifying raids. Come 
Audi Demini Pocest. Quintamus. Simonier. Allons-y. Mon desquad. Ouais, mais comme un la côte. Parade pour venir. Arrière parade. Attends une seconde, mon devant. Ouais, mais. Écoutez, il avance. Mon desquad. Perfect. Cosé sera ma sonna. Thank you, Marais. Hors d'ici. Comprendo. Parade pour la bourra. Quoi de la bourre Va dans la bourra. Parade pour la bourra. Vido, si. Yo ma sonna la cause. Si sommes. La bourse Quito, va dans la bourra. Parate. Si es. Es que un coup, parate. Mande ce tour. Cosé sera ma sonna. Que mandes. Para venies, servientes. Feliz et béat. Quoi de la boue Que j'ai fait la maçonnade. Six sommets. Arrière parade. La bourse pe... Camino. Yo maçonne la côte. Tourna. Escolte de bene. La tourne à ratesse, servientes. Audit, ambulance. Oyez Demande, parade pour venir. Quoi de la bourre Bois de la bourre. Parade pour venir. Sagita in arco. Home entendo. Isomes. Quoi de Ici va tost. Vado la bourra. Si sommet. Mon bon. Posez sur la pierre. Parade. Parade Vénès. Audi. Il avance. Servientes. Tourma. Si mon bon. Oh mais bene, bene. Demandes. Mais plein. Parade. Mon bon skido. Posez sur la maçonne. Parade. Ambulance. Zanki est parade. Parade, allons-y. Nintendo! la cause. Va dans la bourra. La bourse paiera. Mauvo. Yo ma sono la cause. Vale. Mandes quoi Que mandes La bourse paiera. Si, comprendo. Va dans la bourra. Oti. Obedio. Oye Parade pour la finirance. Yeah. 
Ici va Tost. Inérance. Posez sera ma sonata. Parade pour venir. Tourma. Quoi de la beau Si, comprenez-nous. Posez sera ma sonata. servientes. Audit. Oh, mais Dieu Moment is 
With the Routier camp destroyed, mercenary attacks were no longer a threat. Allons-y. Homes, ambulance. Parate. Bene, bene. Audit, veniez, servientes. In avant, servientes. the village of Jouy, the French army was closer to stemming the peasant rebellion and regaining control. The central monastery town of Cocherel would continue to send out rebel attack parties to weaken the French army. The village of Croissy, rich in gold deposits, was a crucial town for the French to reclaim. 
The French army defeated the rebels at Kwasi and took control of the gold-rich village. The central monastery town of Cocherel was still under the control of rebel peasants. The French army would have to take it before they could launch an assault on Charles of Navarre. took control of the rebel villages and the peasant uprising was subdued. But to keep control over the region, they would need to defend its center of influence, the monastery at Cocherel. Northeast of Cocherel, Charles of Navarre's army had established a fortified camp. The King of Navarre sought to make himself ruler of France as well. He intended to press his claim by destroying the newly arrived royal forces. Ways. 
Un besoin. Allons, manons. Que va lui bastir? Compagnie Guerre à Parmey. Bayez moi à votre commandement. Veillez sur au commandement. Je suis vous servir. Or attendons sur de l'ordre. On jump us, on jump the siege, si par Veitchi les commandements. Seize Bellman, where? Veillez moi, Manans, mais si reste un jumper. Oyez, Veitchi, commandements. Compagnon, là ici, laisse commandement. Dites que j'ai là, si on vient de siège, attends, on vient de siège. S'il faut des... Oui, c'est pas fait. Oui, c'est pas fait. Un coup de prête, moi. Bien. Amen. Certes. Là ici, laisse commandement. Les Spartans. Reste tout, est à 6. Pour eux, si seuls sont déjà. Oui, tout. Vos commandements. Bien, oui. On vient, on vient de siège. Dites votre plaisir. Oui, Ribège. Nos Despartans, Bremen. Là ici, les commandements, ça comme peignot. Reste tout le monde. A chest bets was. Comme peignot, nos allons. Reste tout le monde. Où va-t-il, si ça s'en gêne Oyez, bien, allons. A parmi. Oui, on gêne de... On gêne de siège, s'il faut te déguerpir. Bien oui. Où va-t-il, si ça s'en gêne Pushing up the hillside, the French discovered Charles of Navarre's camp.
the French army had repelled Charles of Navarre, stemmed the revolt, and held back the raids of the Routier. In the struggle for control over France's lands, the king still clung to power. With rebels and raiders eliminated at Cocherel, King Charles V faced one last threat to France the relentless English invaders. Word arrived that the English army was weak and scattered, divided by infighting. The king quickly directed his army to chase down the old enemy of France at Pont Valin. The French town of pont lay directly in the path of marauding English soldiers on the hunt for loot. The town's only hope of survival lay with the French forces camped nearby. The French quickly prepared to ambush the disorganized English raiders and defend pont from ruin. The main English army thundered into the valley. They paused to rest beyond the town before launching their raid. Quick, 
the first group of English raiders began their attacks on the outlying farms. After destroying the farms, they would attack the town of pont -Vala. Parates, Servientes. Obedio. Esto azul. Si somes. Odite. Homes, preparate. More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Pontvalin. Servientes. Allons-y. Tour. Parate. Bombé. 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 Bombé.
Cos'è la massonata? O dite? Pace! O meglio! O mezzie! Oye! Oye! Preparate! Bene, bene! O dite? Audience! Oye! La course per Heller's Boys! Parates, servientes! Si sommes. Vado la promesse. Prépare. Plan. Vale. Vale. Simon Vo. Audite. Audience. Audience. Vale. Quito mon site. Parates, servientes. Venez, servientes. Venez, col. Allons-y. Blanches, parata. Prompt. Omes, venez, servientes. Blanches, venez. Parate pour la bourra. Quito. Posez ce ramassonnage. Mandez, ici va toast. Quoi de mec Si, somes. Yo maçonne la cause. Labour Spérance. Mauvais quito. Et Jenny m'en demande. Vado Labourra. Labour Spérance. Io ma sono la cause. Buon Labourra. Buon Labourra. Buon Labourra. Buon Labourra. Vado Labourra. More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Ponvalin. Good to see, comprendo. Good to see, comprendo. Escort de Bell. Quoi de la boue? Parate! Venez y est! Parate pour la boue. Y affect! Parate, serviette ambulance! Bene, bene! Barats pour la psy, comprendo. Yo ma sono la cause. Audite. Barates, servientes. Perfecto. Quoi, me? Mambo. Cause se ramassona. Oh, mes, preparate. Oh, mes, la bourre. Mandes la bourse Pérance. Audite. Dans qui est barat. Mais plec. Seize belles manières. Advertence tout le monde. Compagnon, ayez bien cœur. Homophobe. Citos. Lors bâtis de ce tuy. L'anci sera faite. Ayez sa tour de guerriers. Corrige l'entière. Oil, cartouche. Besoin d'un fusil, vais exploiter. Vaillez, moi, petit. Comme vous l'êtes. Tous de vous, Laurette. Oyez, Beichi, commandement. Beichi, les commandements. Et Yetskur Hawks, commandement. 
et il est obscur. Oh, dans sa box, comment Job Temper. Dans sa box Compagnon, et Coué, Chile sort. A coup stress boost pour despartir. Anjan, seconde votre commandement. Reste tout est à 6. Anjan de siège. Si vous déguerpez. The English army chose their moment and began to close in on Pont Valat.
After a hard-won battle against a scattered enemy, the French succeeded in halting the English chevauchée at pont -Valin. The English army was not invincible. The French cause was not yet lost. The French won an overwhelming victory at the Battle of pont -Valin. It was the first time the English had been utterly defeated during the war. But the triumph was short-lived. As England spent the next 60 years amassing French territory through alliances and victories at great battles such as Agincourt. It seemed that nothing could stop England. Who then could have foreseen that a teenaged girl was about to change the course of history? In 1429, France was in dire straits. Nowhere was it more evident than the besieged city of Orléans. The city was completely surrounded by English-held forts. But just a few days' ride away, here in Chinon, there was potential help. The French royal prince, the Dauphin Charles, was holed up in his fortress and under pressure to ride out to save Orléans. As Charles hesitated, a young peasant girl arrived at his court. Her name was Jeanne d'Arc. She claimed to have received saintly visions, giving her a divine task to help Charles become king and drive the English out of France forever. Charles was skeptical, but was soon convinced of her divinity. And he charged the 17-year-old with the near impossible mission to liberate Orléans. To Jeanne, 
This was the first step in realizing her God-given destiny. In April 1429, she rode out from Chinon at the head of her army to confront the hated enemy of France. Surrounded by English strongholds and with its last line of defense under attack, the city of Orléans grew ever more desperate. In France's darkest hour, 17-year-old Jeanne d'Arc arrived with the king's army to liberate a city and prevent the fall of a nation. The English had captured the vital fortification, known as Les Tourelles, on the south bank of the Loire. Orléans would live or die on its access to supplies. Recapturing Les Tourelles would be key to saving the city.
suffered under the English siege for months, Orléans had sent for crucial supplies, but English patrols threatened their arrival at the city. If Orléans hoped to receive the supplies, the French would have to clear the road of English raiders. Another supply convoy approaching the city, English raiders took up position on the road. The French needed to eliminate the enemy detachment if they hoped to receive the supplies. Commandement. 
Verdicte, mon jeune. Attends, mais vos, archers, reste où Oi Niemand dit en chance, est-ce que Archers, archers, en avouer Archers, archers, en avouer Archers, archers, allons de paiement English fort, securing a crossing to the south bank of the Loire River. to Lateral fell to ruin. Besoin à faire. Lors bâti de Mon jump. Oh yeah. Et mon gonel. Mon jump. Jets. Le feu. Mon jump vos attendent. Mon jump de siège. Attends. Attends. Obéis au. Et mon gonel. Actant vos enfants. Ouvrez. Archer, Archer. 
leading to Orléans had been destroyed by the French to prevent an English onslaught. Jeanne d'Arc had to find another way to cross to the south bank and make her assault on Les Tourelles. Dark could capture it. Orléans would finally be liberated. King's army drove the hated enemy of France from Les Tourelles. With the main road to the city back in French hands, 
the English abandoned their long siege of Orléans. Celebrating a momentous victory at the head of the French army, Jeanne d'Arc would forever be remembered as the Maid of Orléans. Jeanne d'Arc had liberated Orléans and put the English army to flight. However, as the English retreated, they became an obstacle for Charles the Dauphin. He needed a clear path from Chinon to Reims, where he would be crowned king. Nearing the town of Pate, the English sought to regroup. But Jeanne d'Arc and her French army were closing in. Fleeing the Loire Valley, the English were on the run. As they retreated northwards, a French vanguard was in close pursuit. Caught out of position, the French faced a surprise attack from the English rearguard. A detachment of English archers blocked the road with palings, an effective measure against cavalry. The French vanguard had to clear the road if they were to call in reinforcements. With the road cleared, the French army could safely bring in reinforcements from nearby allies. The French army paid their ally and received a detachment of reinforcements. Hearing the rallying cry of the English coming from the village of Saint Sigmund, the French were alerted to the enemy position. French recaptured St. Sigmund and prepared to rendezvous with Jean d'Arc. The French army saw a chance to bolster their numbers and sent payment to their ally in return for reinforcements. But a large English detachment had set up a blockade. So long as that force was in place, the French vanguard could not reach Jeanne. Press 
blockade destroyed, the French vanguard rejoiced at the arrival of Jeanne d'Arc and her troops. With their rearguard eliminated, the remaining English forces would now seek to escape the valley through the town of Pate. Three enemy regiments were converging on the town along three main roads. Jeanne had either to stop the regiments on the roads or race ahead to fortify Pate itself. As the forces of the valiant Jeanne d'Arc entered the town, the people of Pate rallied to her cause. Perfect. 
Compel. Command. Allons, ce sens. Archer, on the graphics, Archer. À la sainte continent. Oyez, les ordonnances. Giovanni Basti. Oyez, tous les malverts à l'orge devant nos alertes. Dictum. Six, bas ou destrière. Euh. À Chesmet, ne demeurez, point slap. Oyez, les points Bien ordonné. Perfect à l'arson. Courez où Ça y est, presse, si fesse comme toi. Ouais, allons ça, tresse toutes. Commandez le face, boss commandement. Si fesse comme toi. Allons de ce sens plus attendre. Où dois-je, Reader Si fait que sera. Si fesse comme toi. J'ai besoin. Fex, veille chi les commandements. Archer, Wand, je commande. Avant. Archer, j'obtiens faire. Archer, Archer, en avoué. Oh yes, les amants pris. Avant. Je fais vos commandements. Archer, oh yes, commande de pouvoir à part main. Archer, allons le paiement. J'obtiens père. Archer, les commandements viennent. On dégrave vite, Archer. Soyez compagnons. Marchez derrière. Présence. Archer, Archer, en avoué. Fex, vite. Archer, prenez vos axes. Commandement in continent, compagnons. Perfect. À la fin. Archer, allons le paiement. Si fait. Orsus, bas au destrier. Commande de j'ai besoin. Allons. Archer, where à parmi. Somos on the sixth, le temps de l'article de vos ordres. Soyez prêts. Veille chi les advis. Dicte mon ça. Avant. Courir ses vos commandements. Archer, le ferai-je donc? Tex, compagnon, marchette, derrière. Archer, obéis aux commandements. Archer, prenez vos arcs comme le. Archer, mes vos, Archer. Mon Archer, les commandes de Archer, allons de brillement. Commandement incontinent, compagnon. À ces mètres vos, j'obtiens. Oh yes. Archer, les commandements viennent. Oui, oh, yes. Archer, on the square pit, Archer. Commandement incontinent, compagnon. 
After an intense pursuit and a hard-fought battle, the French crushed the remaining English army, thwarting their desperate retreat. Now the triumphant Jeanne d'Arc could safely lead Charles de Reims for his coronation as King of France. The Battle of Pate was a disaster for the English. The French wiped out their bowmen and drove their forces from the Loire Valley. Now for Jeanne d'Arc and the Dauphin, the way to Reims was clear. The Maid of Orléans rode with the Dauphin through the streets and was at his side when he was finally crowned King Charles VII of France. But less than two years later, Jeanne was captured in battle, sold to the English and put on trial for heresy. She spent six months locked in a dungeon awaiting her fate. King Charles, who owed his crown to Jeanne, did nothing to help win her freedom. She was found guilty. On May 30th, 1431, Jeanne d'Arc was brought here, to the old market square in Rouen, where she was burned at the stake. She was 19 years old. But what the Maid of Orléans started could not be denied. Her victories were the first in a chain of successes for France's military. Liberty was within reach. Thanks to the leadership of two brothers, Jean and Gaspard Bureau, the French army became experts in the use of artillery transforming it into a disciplined, modern fighting force. In 1448, King Charles was ready to make a major move against the English. He vowed to retake Normandy. King Charles VII's army would soon have access to the most advanced artillery in Europe, thanks to the master gunners, the Bureau brothers. While the brothers developed their weapons, the king laid plans for their use. He would bring Normandy back under French control. The first phase of the king's plan would give the Bureau brothers time to perfect their cannons. He tasked his army with claiming a base of operations.
With the town under French control, the Bureau brothers now had the use of the university and of their own siege workshop. Their next goal was to learn all they could about recent innovations in the mixing of the most potent gunpowder. While the army waited for their new weapons, they kept a watchful eye for any English attacks on the town. A party of English soldiers approached the French base, intent on reclaiming the town. Que faut-il donc besoigner? Lors bâtie de ces tuyaux. The brothers worked tirelessly to cast their gun barrels, but they still needed insight into the latest gunpowder chemistry. Bonne maîtrise de ce cas. Je suis pour vos aider. 13 écoute les ordonnances. Will, j'ai les bacs contre. Bien sûr. Vous voulez que j'aille dans votre plaisir. J'attends vos advices. Ben, Soudard, Borastier, il nous faut marcher. Avant et sans bêler. Ne clamez pas, avancez. Causez-vous. Ça, guerre d'escate, les choses. Où faire les commandements? 
compagnons, avant, et sans mêler. J'ai pour vous. C'est un bon nom, allez, crier. Avant. Nos carrés sont prêts pour prêts. Quelque chose de pas froid. Donc, et pourquoi tout attire J'en sais, j'ai la demi à la crier, n'arrête pas les pieds. Nous armes à l'air, c'est pour ça. Nous nous en gardons pas. Nous pour les armes. Nos armes à l'air, ne sont pas de cesspèces. J'y pourquoi tout attire. Ça, guerre des gars. Armes à l'étrier, joy et j'en t'en prie. J'attends ma besoin. Causez-vous Ne clamez pas, avancez Arbalétrier, suivez le courroie, Arbalétrier Je fais votre commandement Arbalétrier, pour vous oh, Arbalétrier, suivez le courroie Arbalétrier, rien qui se fait comme il vous plaît Arbalétrier, les pères Allons Arbalétrier, ne restez pas en distance Dans le carré, ils sont Arbalétrier, pour vous tout à fait The Bureau Brothers have successfully combined a powerful gunpowder recipe with sturdy cast iron gun barrels. At last, cannon production could begin. While the brothers turned out their cannons, culverins, and ribaldequins, the French army would bolster themselves for the coming fight. Arbalétrier, soyez arbalétrier de nos caresses, j'ai pour vous tout à dire. Vous voulez que je traverse les carrés, votre plaisir. Où voulez que j'aille Jalle au lieu. Ministre de votre engin, dictenos quelqu'un d'os, mouvons l'artillerie. Une heure. Qu'attendez-vous de moi Je prends les mots, vous voulez que j'aille Vous voulez que j'aille votre plaisir. Arbalétrier, treillez bas. Les arbalètes. Allons, arbalétrier, avant. J'attends ma besoin prochaine. Arbalétrier, je fais votre commandement. Arbalétrier, arbalétrier, suivez le courroie, arbalétrier. Nos ordonnances sont très quasi assouvies. Nos arbalètes. Allons, arbalétrier, avant. Avez-vous commandement J'irai où vous voudrez. J'attends vos adjirés où vous voudrez. Nos carrels sont prêts pour faire. C'est bon, c'est Nos arbalestes, arbalétriers, dites nos Ainsi soit-il. Avez-vous commandement pour bouer Avez-vous commandement pour bouer Advise Will, à part Arbalétrier, soit Arbalétrier, avant Et belle, suivez Advise pour vos... En l'avant Arbalétrier, ne reste... J'attends ma buse, je me mets en l'avouer Poste, je vais... Où est-ce doué Je m'incline à... Nos armes... Je fais comme il vous plaît Nos carrels sont... Suivez le courroie, Arbalétrier Je fais comme il vous plaît Arbalétrier, alors Arbalétrier... Très suite, je me mets en l'avouer Arbalétrier, arbalétrier... Nos... Avant et soyez éveillés Attendez, à vos ordres pour vos strangins, nos arbalètes... Allons, arbalétrier Dictenos, quelqu'un t'aime pas Arbalétrier, arbalétrier, ne restez pas si Dictenos... C'est quasi à tout vivre Advise pour vos strangins de siège, en range de siège, assis Nos accomplis sont vos ordonnances Arbalétrier, j'y pourvoi Très suite, bien compris, y vais Arbalétrier, soyez un suspect Je fais comme il vous plaît Invite-toi à ceux qui arrivent Quoi de ce qu'il y a pas assistant nos carrels sont prêts pour... Advise pour vos strangins. Tout est ordonné. Les autres Les armes joy et j'obtends prêt. J'ai pour vous. Mais vous accordez quoi J'ai pour vous tout à dire. Je fais votre commandement. Qui attendez votre will Il est mal pour moi. Joy et j'obtends prêt. Les engins de swill à part. Arbalet trier en bas. Les pères. Joy et j'obtends prêt. 
va les trier. Suivez le pouvoir, va les trier. With the mine under French control, the Bureau brothers had access to an abundance of iron for their gun barrels. At last, the French artillery weapons were ready for deployment. After years of preparation, the time had come for Charles VII to make his move. To take back Normandy, he would need to recapture the stronghold of Rouen, a critical fortress from which the English had been attacking Paris. Rouen's walls would face an explosive trial against the mighty force of gunpowder. After raising the river port, the French soldiers seized a stockpile of shipworthy timber, which could be used for superior cannon frames. Les engins se meurent. Nos carrels sont prêts pour ça. Suivez le courroie, Arbalétrier. Arbalétrier, avant Et paix Suivez le détenteur de l'arbre. Arbalétrier, je fais votre commandement. Paix Paix si les commandes. Ainsi sera fait. Envoyez soudain. La mort nous échappe Arbalétrier, allons Arbalétrier, avant Arbalétrier, avant Les autres de l'arbalète de son terrain. Arbalétrier, ne reste pas. Nos ordres, suivez l'engin, soudain. Les carrels sont un balétrier avant. Épais. 
Je fais votre engin de ciel. Nos accom... Avez-vous co... Reste tout. Bien, bien, je le vais faire. Arbalète, suivez le courroie, Arbalète. Advertence, voici les... Les arbalètes sont à ses espèces. Allons, Arbalétrier, avant. Nos carrels sont prêts pour traite. J'ai pourboué tout à tir. Suivez le courroie, Arbalétrier. Tout est en... Ça, engin Arbalétrier, Arbalét avant. Épée, ainsi soit-il. Ça va Gardez vos espèces par... Les arbalètes ne sont pas de ces espèces With the skirmish won, trade could begin with a settlement. J'obéirai. Et sera fait. Nos arbalètes sont à arbalétrier. J'ai pourvoué tout à tir. Aucun suivez le courroie, arbalète. Ainsi sera fait. Paix. Paix. Arba, je fais votre commandement. Advise pour votre engin. Prêt. Nos je fais votre commandement. Ange ça, engin. En l'avoué. Nos carrettes sont nos ennemis en Russie. je t'en fais. Suivez le pouvoir de J'ai pourvu. Allons, on a des On Suivez l'engin, soudain. Nos carrettes ne restez pas J'ai pourvu. Les engins se meurent Arba l'étrier, vous voyez, Arba l'étrier, ne restez pas assistants The brothers now had every available advantage in producing their guns. Arba l'étrier, rayez ma fille Ne vous êtes pas des points Les engins 
chargeurs de siège sont... Ah, si Karen, on va les trier, on va les trier. Avant, ah bon, une French army bore down on the formidable walls of Rouen, ready to launch their final assault on this key English stronghold. walls were breached. The French army had at last exposed the heart of the fortress. 
Having lost the walls of Rouen, the English made a last stand to hold the city. The French would need to destroy the buildings that had housed the English army and drive out the enemy for good. With the English scattered and their buildings in ashes, the French had recaptured the critical fortress of Rouen. Charles VII had proven that France was no longer the underdog in the Hundred Years' War. After decades of bloody dispute, Normandy was finally back in French hands. To the explosive force of cannon fire, the French were close to victory in this century-long war. But in a final grasp at power, the English dispatched a fresh army, equipped with their tried and tested longbows. Formigny would be a trial of old versus new, to determine the fate of France. English commander Sir Thomas Kiriel sent a large expedition to crush the French in Normandy. The village of Carentin was directly in their path. Massively outnumbered, the French skirmishers near Carentin would give their lives to weaken the English.
they fought bravely, the French skirmishers could only slow the English advance. The main body of the French army finally arrived in the river valley. The French now needed to locate and destroy the English army. But they would face a well-entrenched enemy with several local garrisons. the garrison at Greek Bay. Presque son 
vos moines. Nous allons avoir les commandements. Délaissons ce qui est bon sens. Voyez bien les mots à nous. Ainsi soit fait. Stop the attack. They might gain valuable resources. attack on Bologna halted, the citizens moved to support the French army. Saint-Sauveur fell to the French forces, but the enemy army was still at large.
prêt pour nous délaisser son stress. Voyez, je vais demander. Presse. Voyez, mais nous délaisser son stress. Presse. Nous allons faire votre stress. C'est ce que tu y vas, j'entreprends. Voyez, bien. Ça y est, prêt. Un bon sens. Nous allons en avant. Ça y est, prêt. Presse. Je suis le chef. The French forces located Kirill's English army at a river crossing near the town of Formigny. Several of the Bureau brothers' heavy guns and other forces arrived to help. Even with their cannons, the French faced the difficult task of engaging the well-positioned English army. The French attacks succeeded in drawing the English front line out of position and across the river. losses, the English front line retreated back across the river. The French received word that their Breton allies had arrived with their knights and horsemen. Now the two armies could coordinate. The Bretons saw an opportunity to attack the English from the back. Tout 
As the Bretons attacked, the English had no choice but to pivot their front line, opening their flanks to attack from the French. Beset by the French and Bretons, the English beat a hasty retreat toward Formigny. The English survivors entered Formigny. The French would have to take this town to secure victory. the last English army destroyed and the gates of Formigny thrown open, the French force in Normandy was victorious. Their well-organized forces and superior firepower 
had brought the arduous Hundred Years' War closer to its conclusion. The roar of cannon fire sounded the death knell for England's ambitions in France. King Charles and the Bureau brothers did not let up on the offensive. And in 1453, the English retreated across the Channel. France was finally at peace. More than 100 years had passed since the first English chevauchets had scorched the land. The iconic French knights who fought in those early days would not have recognized their own military a century later. The English longbow, once the scourge of France, was no match for French artillery in the last years of the war. And by 1453, France's border looked very different, growing to encompass territories once claimed by England and their allies. After enduring a century of conflict, France emerged as a transformed nation. The country and its people had persevered and unified into a kingdom that could defend itself. Against all odds, France had won the Hundred Years' War.